Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'll provide a brief walkthrough of ServiceNow. We'll navigate the system, create a few records, and show off some properties. Keep in mind that this video is simply a walkthrough, and I'll be covering all of the topics in this video more in depth throughout this course. Most of the terminology is not yet important to us. Just try to focus on the general navigation and functionality. So here we are in ServiceNow. We'll start by navigating into the incident application by typing in incident in the search box. We'll click on the create new module in the incident application. Here we are taken to a new incident form where we can fill in information related to a specific incident. We'll start by adding System Administrator to the caller field. If we click this triangle button, we see all other open incidents related to this caller. We'll then select a category of Inquiry Help. And finally, leave a short description. We see related articles under the Related Search Results section. We can click Preview to check out the articles without leaving the page. We'll post a comment to this article and close the window. I'll set the contact type to email and submit the incident. Once submitted, we are redirected to a list view of all open incidents. Let's navigate into an existing incident. Here we see ITIL Susan as the caller. And now let's examine the edge functionality. We'll toggle the navigator and list form view. Next, we'll click Incidents under the Self-Service application. This will show us a list of all incidents where the caller is System Administrator. We can create a bookmark on the edge by dragging an incident number over. Now we'll go into this incident. And at the bottom, we see three tabs. If we click the gear icon in the banner, We'll toggle the Tabbed Forms button, and we can see that this toggles the, the sections from Tab View to Normal, one after the other view. If we turn on Compact View, we can see that all of the fields on the form get scrunched together. We'll navigate into a list and select the Horizontal Split Layout. We can see the list of incidents on top and a specific incident on the bottom. Now we'll search for our incident by adding the last few digits in the search box.
Here we see that there is one incident in the system that matches this. Let's now navigate into the problem application and click new. We'll create a new problem and submit it. If we navigate back into our problem, we'll add a tag of course. Finally, we'll switch between application navigator templates and we can see the list of applications change. That completes section two. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in section three.